If you ever have to work in Word with a WordPerfect document that's got footnotes, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. This video was sponsored by my basic Word Skills for Legal Professionals course. For more information, click the link above or in the description below. Hi, I'm Deborah Savage with LegalOfficeGuru.com, your resource for working with Microsoft Office in a legal practice context. And as I've been going through my basic word skills for legal professionals course and updating various lessons with new videos and new screenshots and whatnot, I've come across something in the lesson that I had on updating word perfect footnotes in Word, actually working with a word perfect document that has footnotes. It used to be the case that Word wouldn't recognize word perfect footnotes. In other words, if you brought a word perfect document into Word, and you inserted another footnote in a document that already had more perfect footnotes, the numbering scheme wouldn't work. It wouldn't recognize the word perfect footnotes as footnotes. The good news is, is in the latest version of both WordPerfect and Word, if you bring a WordPerfect document into Word, you can now insert a Word footnote and the numbering will continue correctly. The bad news is, that there's still some formatting issues that need to happen or need to be corrected. There's still some stylistic issues that make the WordPerfect footnotes look a little bit different. And so as I'm updating that lesson, I'm going to show you how you can actually correct those formatting issues pretty easily, actually, with a couple of clicks. This document has begun its life as a WordPerfect document. Once I bring that document into Word and add footnotes, the good news is, is that unlike prior versions of Word, it will actually continue the numbering from the WordPerfect footnotes. That was not always the case. In some prior versions, it would not even recognize the WordPerfect footnotes as footnotes. The bad news is, is there's still a little bit of cleanup to do. And for this, I'm going to show you how to do this cleanup. And the first thing I'm going to do is open up my Reveal Formatting pane with Shift F1 and show you some of the differences that you'll have to deal with. First, I'm going to click into the first footnote. And then over here, I'm going to use Compare to another selection and show you the differences between the two footnotes. Now, first of all, the WordPerfect footnotes do not use the paragraph style footnote text. So that is something that is going to need to be corrected. They're also indented differently, and you have the choice within WordPerfect to either line up your footnotes with the left-hand margin or not. And I chose not in case that particular example would be helpful for you. And also the spacing. To me, the easiest way to do this correction for the WordPerfect footnotes is to place my cursor somewhere in the Word footnote, go to the Home tab, double click the Format Painter to make it persistent, and then just click each of the WordPerfect footnotes. And then once you've done that, then you can hit Escape and turn off the Format Painter. Now Word by default put in a, an extra space between the footnote number and the footnote. So thankfully that is really all that needs to be done with the with the footnotes. If you have a particular problem with the formatting of the footnote number either in the body of the document or here you can also apply the correct style here. And actually let's see I'll turn off compared to another selection you notice that the correct footnote style is footnote reference. It did in fact pick that up, but in case it doesn't in a document that you're working with, you can go up here on the Home tab to Styles and click on this launcher arrow in the lower right hand corner and apply the footnote reference style to it. If you don't see the footnote reference style in the list, you should be able to click on Options and make sure that all the styles in the current document are actually being shown and maybe put it in alphabetical order so it's a little bit easier to find. 
and I would also keep these boxes unchecked. It will it will clutter it to the point that you can't actually find anything. And then you should see at that point the footnote reference style. So if you need to clean that up, you should be able to do it by applying that style here. That would also be true for the footnote reference here. I'm going to pull my reveal formatting pane back up. And again, that is the footnote reference style. So the good news is, is that if you continue putting footnotes into a document that used to be a WordPerfect document, it will continue the numbering, at least in versions 2019 and forward. The bad news is that you may still have a little bit of cleanup to do, and that can be very easily accomplished with Format Painter. So you can basically paint the footnote text style over each of the former WordPerfect footnotes. So this is actually good news for you if you've got the latest version of Word. You're actually going to get the numbering scheme on WordPerfect footnotes to actually work. If you're still having problems, however, I'm going to link one of my tutorials on my website that actually has the older instructions on how to convert WordPerfect footnotes, so be sure to click that link above. By the way, if this video has helped you, do me a favor and hit the like button right now and let me and YouTube know that this video has helped you and that this is something that you want to see more of. This has been Deborah Saavedra with LegalOfficeGuru.com. Thanks for watching.